Hi everyone and welcome back. I've come on today because I want to show you these gorgeous little um, gift bags. But what I do want to show you before we have a proper look is when we went to on stage in Telford a couple of weekends ago, I did a swap with Sandra Riley and she's the Cotswold Crafter here on YouTube. So please do go over and check her out. She makes some fantastic um, products. She made me this gift bag and that was our swap and it's absolutely stunning. I love it. Um, and she's put this tassel on and you can unclip it and then there's a beautiful dangle charm and I just really loved these circles. Um, I think it was Linda Parker who originally, yes it was, who did it. But it is absolutely stunning and I love it. So I was sat in my craft room yesterday and I just thought, oh... What can I do with some scraps that I've got? And I came up with these little gift bags. So you could use them as table favours for a wedding. You could do it for a, a girl's party, for a baby shower. And I've just put some little sweets in the top. I just think the handles are so cute. And um, so that's what we'll be making. I did go ahead and just make a little unicorn one with some old paper that I had. Just so that you could see... You know, you could colour the unicorn, you could do anything to it. So that you could see the difference of, you could make it for a child or, you know, a grown-up. So, what we're going to need, I've already gone ahead and prepared quite a few things. So, I did use, for the circles, the one and three quarter inch punch, circle punch, uh, not, sorry, the three quarter inch circle punch and the one and one eighth. And all you do, because I've already cut mine out, is push your circle in and cut with that one and then you take the scalloped edge you go over it and you do just have to eyeball it um, just as close as you can get it and that is how you make the handles and you need four four of them so that's how you do that bit the cardstock you're going to need is three and three eighths of an inch by seven and a quarter inch and the two layers of DSP is two and a quarter by two and one eighth and you want two of those in there to go on the front and back. I have used, I can't remember if it's still in the catalogue or not, I don't think it is, but I've used this punch, it was a punch that I've had since I first joined Stamping Up and I've punched three of these little flowers just because I wanted some smaller flowers so I have gone ahead and I've punched them out already as you can see. And then I've used this tag die and you get it with the wood crate framelits and the wood words and I've used for you. So I've already gone ahead and I've punched that out as well. Just to save a bit of time. So what you're going to need is your scoreboard. And then put your card stuck in on the long side and it really is really simple to make. Right? So you want to score at two and a half inches, three and a half inches, six inches and seven inches and then turn it on the short side and score at one inch and turn it back and where you've made your sides you just want to notch half an inch in so notch at three inches and notch at six and a half and that's the scoring done nice and easy then you will need your stylus and a steel ruler and just join up from the notch that you made to the bottom score line just like we have done on a few of the bags that I've been doing recently I just really like the effect you don't have to put these in you could leave them out if you wanted to I just think it helps to make the sides look really nice. So from the centre down to the corner. And that's it. Just going to have a drink of my coffee. There we go. Then you want to fold and burnish on all of your score lines. Except the diagonal ones that we've just put in. We'll fold them once we've done our cutting. There we go. And then you want to take your scissors and 
snip up straight and then notch into the square and then notch in and again on this square cut straight and then notch into the square don't notch into the rectangle and on the last one you can just notch out that gap um, like that so you're going to have that and then we're going to glue on our pieces, make sure you've got them the right way around. So I'm just going to pop some glue on here. And then let me just work out which one was the front. So this one's going to be the front. And with this it's painted Love DSP that I'm using, it was just some scraps that I had. And when you do cut it, even though it was both of these pieces are from the same sheet of cardstock, you are getting a different pattern every time. So it really makes it look nice. You're not going to get the same bag twice. And then layer that one up as well. And then we can fold the scores that were made and burnish them. These would be good for swaps as well if you go to on stage if you're a demonstrator. And then what you do is pop some glue on this smaller strip. Oops bring that down and fold that across and if you put all your score lines in it will fold really nice I forgot to say as well on my tag I used Melon Mambo ink to match the Melon Mambo cardstock just to let you know and I've had that ink for 16 months and I've never had to refill it and I have used it quite a lot so you know they do last then what you want to do is fold in the sides, fold in the back and glue the front. You could put glue on all of the tabs. I don't think you need to with a box this small. just depends what you're going to put in. And there we go. And then you can just put your bone folder in and just help that. Then what I'm going to do is get my bag and where's that? There it is. And my stylus and I'm going to put the bag on my measurements and you want to just make a small notch at one and a quarter inches, just halfway. Or you can just eyeball it, it doesn't really matter. And then turn it over and just make the same notch. And then you can just see through the, see if you can see, I don't know if you can, there, it indents it so you can see, so then you can put your hole puncher in and punch a hole and you can do them as deep as you want, there we go, and this bit's a bit fiddly now, but take your circles for the handles that we did and then what I do is I just pop a bit of glue on one end is that even coming out and then hold it to the inside and it is fiddly to keep it there Just hold it a minute, like that, so it sits there like that. And then you can take the other one and put glue all the way around it this time. You don't have to use the scalloped one, you could use a, just a circle one or a circle dies. And then just try your best to line it up. 
like that and then just press them together and then there's one handle so then you want to repeat that on the other side I just pop a bit of glue on the end and try your best whoop, to hold it on you could probably do the handles before you attach the bag together I've just thought of that <laughs> probably would have been easier and then taking the other one and layering it up I think I've slightly cut this one a bit off it's okay there we go and there's the front so there's the bag and then what you want to do is bring in your flowers and I've just got some of these pearls I need to get rid of them anyway so I'm going to use these they're not stamping up but we do have some nice pearls but I just wanted to get rid of all these ones that I've got before I purchase any more So just pop in a flower, uh, a pearl into the centre of each flower. Oops. And then take in a glue dot. And then just oops, grabbing your glue dots off, you can then place your flowers and just push them back up again. It is quite fiddly when you're using small bits. You know when you're doing them really small delicate projects, it can be really fiddly to... There. so pulling them back up just lifting them back up again and then we'll take our tag and I'm using our gold one eighth of an inch ribbon and I'm just going to pop that onto the tag and push that through making a loop and then Pull them bits through like that, and then taking your scissors, you can just chop the top off and get in another glue dot. I think I'll put two on, and then just slipping it just into the flowers. Like that and then you could take your treats I've just got three sweets in mine sherbet lemons holds three of them in nicely you might get four in as well no I'll do three and that's it there's our box so all the DSP is from the same sheet and you've got three different styles of bag. Just zoom in and let you see them. How pretty are they? So don't forget, I've got, I have got a Facebook group. If you want to go over there, it's Crafting with Danny on Facebook. Um, and I do have a Facebook page where you'll see all my makes on there as well. And that's Crafting with Danny. Um, the link to the group is through that as well. So... If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and thank you so much. I can see my subscribers are slowly, slowly creeping up. So if I get to 1,500, I'll do a giveaway. Um, so that's it. See you next time. Bye.